The piece is called Passion Week, and it was written by a composer named Maximilian Steinberg. Steinberg was a professor in the St. Petersburg Conservatory and eventually became the vice rector there. He wrote this piece and completed it in 1923. This was a time when the Bolsheviks had banned sacred music, so the piece never had the chance to be performed in the composer's lifetime. And he knew this. In his diary, he wrote that sadly he would never see Passion Week performed. On one of his trips to Paris, he was able to interest Bessel, a publishing company, in publishing the work. Yet, all records show that the piece was still never performed in Paris or anywhere else until just a few years ago, the piece was brought to Clarion's attention by my colleague Barbara Mauck. Her father was given the score, we believe, by Shostakovich, who was one of Steinberg's students at St. Petersburg Conservatory. And Shostakovich was a great champion of his teacher's works. He also had a very international career. He took several trips to the United States, and on one of them, we believe he brought this score and gave it to Barbara's father. He was a Russian-American conductor named Igor Buketov. And Buketov tried to find a choir in the United States that might be interested in performing this work during Soviet times. The piece, however, was not taken up by an American choir, possibly because it's written in Church Slavonic, the ancient ancestor of all the Slavic languages and the language of the Russian Orthodox Church. When I first met my colleague Barbara Malk in the year 2004, one of the first things that she mentioned to me was this score. And when we started doing performances of Russian music in particular, Barbara reapproached me and said, you have no excuse now, you have to look at the score. And as soon as I did, I regretted not looking at it sooner. And I remember the looks on all of the faces of the singers as we were reading through this piece for the first time in front of an audience. We had no rehearsal. There was a look of disbelief on the singers' faces, not being able to understand why a work of such great quality like this had never had the chance to be heard before. And the reaction of the audience was the same. And it was after that reading that we decided to do a more formal concert, uh, which ended up being the New York premiere of the piece. And right after that concert, we recorded the work, which has just been released on the Naxos label. Little did I know that at that New York premiere, was a member of the United States Department of State named Tanya Rodzianko. She felt that this piece deserved to be known worldwide. The piece had never been performed in Russia nearly 90 years after it was written. And perhaps it would be a beautiful gesture for an American choir to take this piece back to St. Petersburg where it was written and also to Moscow to give the Russian premiere of this work. And she loved the idea, luckily. Before we knew it, we were hearing from the United States Embassy in Moscow. And finally, two years after we gave the premiere here in New York, we've been able to bring this project to fruition and are excited to premiere the work in the Grand Hall of the Philharmonic in St. Petersburg, then in the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception in Moscow, and also in Rachmaninoff Hall in the Moscow Conservatory. We hope that Clarion's trip to Russia to premiere Passion Week will be a gesture of deep cultural appreciation from our country to theirs. We're excited to see the reaction of Russian audiences to this beautiful work of art, and we hope that they love the piece as much as we do here.